I'm going to give you a demonstration on the same quiz process using D2L version 10. Now remember, this is a preview of version 10, and it is not configured for the Los Rios colleges, so the actual version will be a little bit different. Let me review what I'm going to do. I have created quizzes using my PDF form. Same quiz I used and had mistakes in just a few minutes ago. And I saved that text as a comma separated values file. And so that's what I'm going to work with. Kind of the same basic steps, but in the anticipated release uh, of version 10. And as a reference, I'm thinking, well, I still have those kind of work aids, job aids that uh, will still apply. So let's go see. So right away, the navigation bar is a little bit different. I see that. So quizzes under assessments. Let's go there. Actually, I already played with this idea of a first quiz. You know what? I want to get rid of that. I want to have this be a completely fresh environment. So let's see, how do we delete one? I have a checkbox. I also have this down triangle. What can I do with it? No, 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 no. Don't want to do that. So I've got it checkmarked. I'm not sure if that matters. Let's go to more actions. Ah, there we go. Delete. Now's when I check it. OK, delete selected. All right. What I want to do is get back to where I can upload to that quiz, that question library, right? Huh. Where is question library? Where's a link to that? I don't know. I'm going to hit cancel. Now I'm in the Manage Quiz area. Here's Question Library. OK, I want to import. I'm browsing to my folder where my comma separated values file is. I'll double click that. And I'm confirming I want all of those pieces to happen in place. Looks the same as it did before. You know, I think I want a folder again to put these in. So let's make that now. We'll call it a section. That hasn't changed. Remember, my browser is remembering all of the things that I've had before. I have to scroll down to the bottom of the page to get to the next step. I'm going to just hit Save. So I've got my folder, which is called a section. I, I say folder because the icon shows a folder. I'll select all, then deselect folder. That was fewer clicks for me. Now I'm going to click Move. Where do I want it to move to? There. OK, so now all of my questions are inside that folder. OK, so it would be a good idea before I import new quiz questions to make new sections. For example, quiz and whatever it might be. OK, and then I would have a place, a folder in place to upload that. But again, as the instructor, I'm seeing these titles. Students don't see those titles yet. This is just the quiz library. So let's go back, look at this, and remember, I kind of want to edit this. 
I'm not seeing that pencil icon I had before. So maybe it's this triangle. And again, it might be better to have the actual question as the title. And if I had student learning outcomes, 2.4 or whatever my department agreed to, I'm going to scroll down and just make sure I have 100, one right answer. That all looks the same. I can hit preview or just save here. That's a little bit better. Seems to me I had an error in true fault. So let's go edit that right now. It's a good reason, you know, like to repeat this. And what I realized was this needed to be 100. So again, similar kinds of editing. Better titles are always uh, an improvement. What's different primarily is in how you get to your question to edit, preview, or change the number of attempts. I'm not sure why you get more attempts at the question level. That's kind of new and different. All right, uh, publishing to the LOR, the Learning Object Repository is not something that will be in the Los Rios version. So keep that in mind. All right, so I've uploaded my questions. How do I get to a new quiz? Where's the cancel button? Oh, here's done. Okay. Now I can make a new quiz. Now remember, I want to make auto graded and instructor graded quizzes. So let's go. Oh, look, I've already got this. And oh, there. I want to be consistent. I like that it fills that stuff in for me. I can't export to grades because this is a practice, but you would change that for real quizzes. I do want it to automatically grade. I'm just going to scroll down and hit save and close. Well, um, haven't added questions to this yet, so let's make the other parts too. So this is going to be the part B. Remember, this one cannot be automatically graded. So we leave that blank. Save and close. Do we want to go all the way and have a random quiz? Practice random. And again, we would automatically grade. All right, pretty exciting here. All right, let's go populate this quiz. And this one we will say should be active. We'll say attempts on the auto graded one. We could say two. Submission views. This was kind of interesting. I want to edit this. Again, this is the practice quiz. I really wish it was more obvious between yes and no. I wish these options were further indented, you know, pushed out to the right. It's hard, hard to tell and people that those are the options you need to look at. Go save and Finally, we're going to add questions. So one of the things that, because we don't do quizzes often, I like to go down those tabs all the way through that process. So let's go add edit questions. 
we're going to import from the collection from the question library practice quiz questions what are we bringing in not our long answer and not our short answer so again I use the quick select all because I have two that I don't want so it's fewer clicks and that one's done say done okay and I save and close let's go get the other two questions what do we want this one should be active when I have to grade this one attempt is plenty submission views again because this is a practice quiz I'll let them see everything usually a submission view on a real quiz I'm going to create a second view and then make it available after the quiz window closes all right let's go to edit it questions import We're taking our short answer, long answer. Saying done. Save and close. Let's go finish it off. Restrictions on our random question. Let's make it active. On attempts, let's be real tricky this time. Let's say four submission views we'll show them everything and we'll add questions now I have to slow down a little bit on this because In this, oh, I've already made a mistake. Let me hit the cancel button. <clears throat> so let's make a new random section. That's where we're going to import our questions. And I'll say save. And now Oh, it's still a purple icon going inside this folder, this section. And now I'll choose import. And it's only my auto graded questions. But questions per attempt. So I have five questions. I want them to have three questions each time they take this quiz. So I say save. It's interesting that save is now at the top and not at the bottom here. All right, I say done. And save and close. So the one we really need to preview is the random quiz. So here we are, I don't see the icons that we used to see over on the right hand side I only see graded so it must be hidden under this little triangle sure enough preview 
quiz starting looks a little bit different and they're scrolling down to the start quiz. Notice how I didn't read the instructions. It's probably true to our student experience. The quiz comes up. I have the three answers, the matching, and the true false. And also, I exit the preview. I actually want to prove it, preview again to see did I get that random feature working? This is a new question. True, false, and OK. So let's try this one. We'll say, because now what we're also trying to see is the submission report. Submit the quiz. And now I am seeing the submission report because it's a practice quiz and I changed the settings to show all of the user responses and the correct answers. I'm seeing, got that first one wrong. And I got the second question correct. And I marked three choices on the third question and did not mark three options. And all of those are correct. So I say close. And again, if you were to look back at attempt one. All right, there we go, exit preview. As always, I want to advocate that you use a student login and actually take quizzes and look at how the quiz submission report displays to students and whether or not you've got the grading fine-tuned. So let's go back into Question Library and look at a couple of the options on these questions. The multiple choice, for instance, if I edit this question, one of the choices we can make is to randomize the options on the list. That might not be a bad idea. So I say save. Now, again, this question is now in multiple quizzes. I've made that change in the question library. I do want to apply it in the other quizzes as well. So we'll say save. Choose more than one answer. Let's go look at this. And again, we can randomize the options. And it indicates which ones are correct with the check mark. Now here is where I think it's important that you're a student and you see what the options are. This one, the options for grading are all or nothing. That's the current selection right minus wrong or acknowledging the correct answer. So I can't guess what that is. I need you to go practice this question. So that's the way it was. The only change we've really made here is to randomize the options. The bottom of the page is the save button. Again, that's in multiple quizzes. So even if I were editing that question in a quiz, D2L will, would acknowledge that that question is not only in another quiz, but it's also in the question library. And it would give me the option to update it in all locations. That's a preview of uploading questions into the question library. 
organizing them in a section, aka a folder, creating several quizzes and walking through the steps of setting their permissions and features, and then populating them with questions, and then revising questions and applying those revisions in multiple locations. So that's your sneak preview on quizzes in D12 version 10. And again, it's going to be a while before we're there, but see, some of this isn't that different.